Okay, okay, okay. Hey, everybody. Can you all see? Can you all hear? What's up? I hope you're having a good weekend. I sure am. Will that continue to go well? We'll see. Tonight, we are playing the Mortuary Assistant. The general aesthetics of the title screen and its sound make me believe that it's scary, but it's just a dead body. Dead bodies aren't scary. Every single person that's ever lived has died. It's a natural part of life. I think I'm ready for this. We're gonna do it. No scares at all. Let's begin. Oh yeah. It's also Scream Stream right now, so if you haven't joined in on a Scream Stream uh, yet, you have the ability to scare me with sounds that are happening live in the studio. And as you know, I don't hear very well. So you might say, oh, that means I'm gonna be scared less. No, it means I literally can't tell what direction things are coming from. And it's almost impossible for me to tell the difference between what's coming from me from the TV and what's coming from you. So I hope you have a great time. <laughs> All right, we're going to start our new shift. Let's do it. The game saves automatically. You have reached a checkpoint when I see that symbol, okay? I'm so glad you're here. 1998. Connecticut. Nothing bad happens in Connecticut. There's nothing disturbing about it. It's just that. Right. Is that me? So. I'm attractive. I look good. They actually have everyone they need. That's my old teacher, Mr. Felder, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma, we can all have heard things about that place. Just be careful. River Fields sounds very pleasant. Story. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. I mean, you try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we've lost someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. Sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. Hmm. Thanks. My inheritance. I I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Is this a USB stick? Thanks. Oh, I'm pretty good at picking up clues. I think it's a USB stick. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. What is going on outside? Jesus! Was there a chase happening outside of the diner? Gotta be careful in places like this. Bad drivers, that'll get you. Dead bodies, we'll be fine. All right, here we go. Okay. It seems I have lost control. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay, I've gained control back. That seems to be a good sign. All right, we are here at our job. And I'm just getting used to the sensitivity of the control stick. 
I know Jake is trying to fix some audio issues. Hopefully that's not messing up with many of my controls because I am, uh, I did connect a controller to the PC here. All right, I'm gonna give Jake a second to do what he needs to do before I do anything and I don't get messed up on my controller. So one second, everybody, hello. <laughs> Jake is remoting in, trying to fix something. How are we doing tonight? I hope very well. It is the weekend, so I thought I'd have a good Mike's Hard Lemonade. Get me into the, the season, right? Ah. No, this is not a drunk stream. I'm lightweight, but I think I'll be okay. Yeah, the game is possessed, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to get this uh, sound issue fixed up, and Jake will let me know when I'm good to go. But how is everybody's weekend so far? I hope well. I hope well. I know. How am I a lightweight? I'm not really sure. I just, uh, I, well, I, I am very sure. I never drink, really. Uh, not that I'm against it at all. I just so happen to never really do it. It's just not a particular vice that I have. Uh, so when I do, it's usually for special occasions, like the first day on the job <laughs> as a mortuary assistant, I guess. Uh, how many of you are here for the first time, huh? I put up a video on YouTube and sometimes that gets new people uh, coming over. Anybody here for the first time? I saw uh, Kurg in space had a first time chat. Uh, Diana Mar Mandarina, first time. I will not stop looking at my own boobs. That is my privilege. Awesome. So cool to see everybody here. Uh, yeah, if you've never been on Twitch, we play a lot of games here. A lot of games. Um, we are still in the middle of October, which means, well, middle, middle is the 22nd, but uh, we've been playing scary games all month, and that's going to be continuing next week. You don't want to miss any of the uh, streams. And uh, on the 31st, we might have a special surprise for you as well. So that's going to be happening. Oh, and then after Scream Stream... Uh, there'll be some stuff, but ah! uh, but also there will be in November a new game that I'm going to be playing right here on stream, and it is called God of War Ragnarok. I'm going to be playing that live at twitch.tv slash blindwave. And uh, God of War was one of my favorite series that I picked up last year. No way I'm not going to be playing uh, Ragnarok live, so I know a lot of people are going to be playing it as well, but... Make sure you join me if you want to check out some really cool stream content. Posture check. I don't know how good my posture is right now. Uh, uh, oh, I was moving stuff around all day. So I need to sit up straight. Uh, it's not too bad. I like that. Yeah. Mass Effect Andromeda, one day. One day. I'm not in any rush, honestly. Um, I know, you know, it's when it comes to television and movies, with our reaction channel, we try to get on things as soon as possible, but with video games, I, uh, I partake, I enjoy, but I also have my favorites, and I don't need to rush to get to them either. They're always going to be there for me, so I got a lot of games to check out. Give it a shot now, okay? Well, let me see. I currently have control. Um, can I leave? I cannot leave, okay. Uh, so I should be good, and we're gonna be getting into the game right now. Thank you for bearing with me. All right, I guess we can't interact with anything. Okay, what to expect after death. That's good to have. 
there's a glowing indicator on this door. I'm assuming it is because I'm wearing like a Google wearable and I have augmented up reality. That's pretty cool for 1998. Uh, let's see if we can get any extra information though. There's a red stapler. That's good. And there's a, a really, really artsy uh, Christian piece here too. So I do we, uh, do we exclusively only work with the Christian community? I mean, what happens when people that live around here in Connecticut die that aren't Christian? Are they, maybe we have like a, like a utility closet that we can move out all the religious stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, I can, I can do, what can I do? What's my action button? Not that. We can do that. I don't have my clipboard. I don't have my clipboard. I didn't know if you knew that I don't have my clipboard. Maybe I can't move this door. I don't know. Maybe it's a mistake playing this on the controller. Uh, cause I don't feel like I have the best control. I see you. How creepy is it that that happened right when I was looking at the mirror? Huh? How creepy was it? How creepy. All right. Everybody, we can interact. We're good now. The toilet has spoken. All right. Let's go in this shining door. Rebecca! One last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. Okay. All right, let me get this uh, pen oh, pencil. Let's sign some paperwork. All right, we got an inventory. Uh, all the command prompts are for keyboard. So there'll be a decent amount of guessing and how to do this. So, all right. Uh, inventory. What I'm guessing is this. I, I do use have that here. a I, I have a pencil. Okay. Pencil. We've signed. The signing is good. Okay, we have done the signing. Um, we're gonna open up options. Uh, let me look here. Controls. I don't know if this changes anything, this look sensitivity, but we're gonna try it. That helps a tiny bit, but we'll see. Okay. Um, we can open the door here. We have signed. It, this is my first day at the job, right? Where is the employee? Okay, that wasn't that door. That was you guys. Okay. There's just... Wow. Just a couple doors away from Rebecca. the body. Rebecca, great. Perfect timing. There you are. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Moving the deceased. Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key. Then I'll walk backward with the gurney down the hall. Okay. We're going to get a good look at our boss. Hello, boss. This is the first day. All right. Let's uh, get behind the gurney here. And... Uh, Got it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, all right. Here we go. Down the hall. I've literally never walked down this hall before, and I'm taking down a dead body to cold storage. All right. Uh, we're gonna stick ya. Here. And then we need to 
put you in cold water. Uh, there you go. Rest in peace. Not that you're gonna stay there. Okay. Let's open this up. And let's get this lady out. Okay. No, no, no. Stay in there! Stay in there, Dalton! Okay. Um... I feel like something hasn't connected well. I'm trying to do things. Um, maybe this isn't perfectly lined up yet? That feels pretty good. I feel good about lining that up. Maybe we need to, okay, maybe I need to, see this is the first day, you know, it's the first day. Let's put this here and bring this all the way out. And then maybe if we put it under here, yes! See, these are vital skills I need to know. You can't just tell me take this dead body. I don't know. I'm sure I went to mortuary school, but you know, I'm the kind of worker, like, week two, I'm good. But the first couple days, mm, not that good. Not that good. Okay, all right, let's uh, put you over here. We need to be uh, cleaning up after ourselves a little bit, right? Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's get you. Let's get, let's get here. All right, here we go. Here we go, all right. All right, I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks. I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not familiar with this laboratory, but here's the clipboard. Uh, use for forms to keep a track of mortuary task. Got it. All right. Dorothy Page, age 87. All right, and Dorothy Page, you are 87? You are in fantastic shape for 87. Anyway, okay, uh, well, here's a bunch of shit. Right, what if a kid was walking through here? I don't know if a kid should see this. Can I close this? I can't, okay. All right, we're gonna inspect the body, hover the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises, and interact with them to record them to the clipboard, okay? All right, and what we got, what we got here? I can look around. Uh, that's definitely a hand. All right, I can go back. We can look at, uh, let's we'll start with the head. All right, the head seems to be the thing you really want to start with. All right, let's look at the head. All right, head. Let's rotate this over and rotate it more. Okay. Uh, and I can't rotate it anymore. That would be creepy. All right. I don't notice anything here. So, uh, bring up a clipboard. Mm. These old windows never stay latched. Hmm, I just tried to... Okay, alright, um... I mean, she's 87, right? Like, how did she die? Just turn? Um... I mean, the palms are a little discolored, I suppose, but she's also dead, I don't know. Uh, let's try a, uh, let's go to the, uh, this area. All right, yeah, I don't notice anything on that side. We'll continue. Uh, we've already focused on that game. Ah! 
Okay. Now we're gonna. That's the hand again. I wanted more of a leg. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. We got. We got this. We got that. We can look at that. What else do we look at? Okay. On the foot, there's a marking. On the foot. Uh, and I don't notice anything on this. Well, actually, I do. I do. Look at this. Scratches. One, two, three, four, five, six scratches. Hmm. It looks like she kicked a grill trying to fend off a hamburger robber is what I'm going to put down. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dorothy, okay. All right. What else is there to look at? Uh, there is... We can turn this side over, right? No, not there. I, I, I think... Uh, no, there's a little mole here, but it doesn't look like I can do anything with it. Uh, what's this? Okay, there's a hole there? Is there a hole there? It looks like there is. Yeah. Okay. All right. I've uh, I've done a bunch of things. What do, what else do I do? I feel like I've searched the whole body. There seems to be nothing on any of the arms. We can look on this side again. Oh, yeah, there's uh... Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Yeah, there were scratches Don't right forget there. to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. All right. Um, what do you say? What do I do? Okay. Yep, we're gonna submit. You'll die here. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y yeah. You clearly, I'm fine. Sorry. You clearly said you'll die here. And by nature of our business, sir, people are already dead before they get here. So, empty threat. Uh, okay, I submitted that, and I gotta take some shit to the front desk. Still... I am suspicious about the window, but maybe we can call a guy for that. Front desk. Uh, submit. Gotta find the exact place to stand to get interactivity. Okay. Yeah, I think that maybe... The controller was a mistake. I gotta enter the info on the computer. Did I already did I hit submit? But I got sidetracked. Record system. I do not have access to that. I see. Dang it. Record system. And then I go over here. Dorothy Page. Eight. And then, okay. So I gotta select that and then do that. Okay. Um. Left shoulder, there's a contusion. Right shoulder, a mild abrasion. The left leg, 
also right leg here, uh, and that should be it. Alright, and then there's the printer. That sounds right behind me. Packet of p paperwork, file up front, available, okay. Uh, clipboard, okay. And, I don't know, did I not pick it up? <laughs> oh no, you put it here? Ah, oh, okay. Didn't grab it. I guess not, but I did. Okay, I must have pressed the wrong button earlier. Okie dokie, now we're gonna bring this over here and put in the clipboard wall. Time to embalm. Oh, we embalm now. Okay. All right. We're going to embalm. All right. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Okay. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Retrieve body from cold storage. Inspect body for identifying a marks. Wire jaw shut with needle injector and setting needles. Okay. Can do. Okay. My, I, I have no idea what this is telling me to do. I'm trying. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I have this in my hand. I picked it up. There's also... There's a bunch of stuff. Moisturizing wipe. Uh, setting needles. That's what I needed. I needed the setting needles, and I needed... To wire the jaw shut. Setting the face. Pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull. Then twist the wires to shut the jaw. Okay. Oh, come on now. I guess I'll just uh, do a guessing game every time. I have to do something. Whole head supposed to do this? It's a visual glitch? Okay. I mean, that's. Look, I'm doing uh, mortuary stuff. Stay out! There we go. Okay. The immersion is staggering. All right, so we did that. Now we need to insert eye caps. 
to keep the eyes shut. Okay, let's get some eye caps. That's them. We should, we should probably just I can't take hold anything stuff. else. My hands are full. Okay, never mind. I will not do this. All right. Uh, eye caps. Eye caps. Placing eye caps. Use the manipulator to open the eye lid completely, interact with the eye to place the cap, then close the eye. Gotcha. All right. How? I can't turn the head if I go here, nothing happens. How do I turn her head? It just goes here. Uh, what buttons do I press to turn the head? <laughs> uh, let me go over here. Maybe I'm just holding too many things? That doesn't make any sense. I'm holding fucking three things. I'm good. Uh, let's drop this. Okay, that was me. That was me. That was me. Alright, it's a bug, and I'm gonna have to just guess where shit is. I mean, I don't even know... I don't know what button to press. Bug doesn't work. I've done something. Okay. Alright. I guess the caps are on. Again, riveting! Alright, let's go around here. Let's look at our clipboard. Mix some bombing fluid and pump. Okay. Hmm. fluid base used for firming. Okay. Oh my god. I can't hold anything else. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly. And it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. That doesn't make any sense. Doing right clicking, I'm using a controller. Uh, okay. Alright, I think we did that. We're just dumping all this shit in here, I guess. And I just gotta open up that menu every time. Done that. Uh, make an incision in the carteroid artery and jugular vein with scalpel. All right, incision. Guess we'll use this. 
Yes. And, uh, okay, let's go over here. And we're gonna make the incision. All right, some items need to be used directly on the body. To use an item, open quick inventory and select the item needed. Okay, all right. Uh, which one is quick inventory? Where's my scalpel? I have the clipboard. I don't have the scalpel. Maybe I didn't pick it up? What, what's going on? Is it just gone now? Uh, use forceps to clamp tubing to both veins and connect the involving pump. Okay. The forceps. What are they? This? Yep. And the tubing? Yep. Okay. Alright. So, quick menu. Forceps. And then, quick menu. Tubing. Okay. Alright, we got all that hooked up. That's looking pretty good. Alright, uh, now we need to engage the pump and let the body drain. Engage the pump. <laughs> That's loud! We're really letting the body drain! Alright. That's a lot of blood. Let's, uh, keep that window open, huh? Now we need to turn off the pump, remove the tubes, and close the incision. Okay, uh... What is this shit? Flex bag. Okay. Alright, we gotta close... We gotta remove all this shit. Give me this. And seal this up. Gotcha. Done. And then, uh... Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with, it's really dark, really dark, uh, cavity fluid, and then insert into the abdominal cavity. All right. I can do that. Uh, where's the bag? I think it's the one I dropped earlier. Having a hell of a time trying to get the indicator to work. There it is. That's a moisture wipe. This must be... I can't hold anything else. No. That's... They said that. They said I needed this. I'm missing something. Uh, filling body cavities. Insert the trucker until it stops to begin the flowing bottom. Once the cavity is pulled, the trucker back. Okay. I'm missing something? What was that? What was that? Did you guys... Was that a dog or something? I think there was a dog. Yeah, we're gonna close this. The dog smelling all the the, uh, the liquids. He's all interested. Little doggy. Alright. Uh, oh, all these open? They did. Okay. Uh, they said I needed something next. What do I need? Hey, fucking Galen Urso, what do I need next? Fill an empty IV reservoir bag. Where's where do I get that? 
Where do I get an IV reservoir bag? I don't even know what an IV reservoir is. I mean, it's gotta be this. Yeah, that is I the can't IV hold anything bag. else. So I gotta drop something, is the idea. Even though I have a thousand pockets. Alright, let's put this. Can I put this in my pocket? Just let me put it in the pocket. I gotta drop it. Alright, weird system. Okay, we got this. I'm missing something. I'm still missing something. All right. Uh, I guess I'll pick this up. I can't hold anything else. Can't hold that. Uh, clipboard, trocar. I guess I need to hold both of them at the same time. Is that the trick? I guess that makes sense. It's just weird that I got to drop shit to do it. Fill it with cavity fluid. All right. I gotta fill it with cavity fluid. Where's the cavity fluid? I'm missing something. Oh, this thing? Not the window. I'm nowhere near the window. Is it this? Uh, uh, cavity fluid. Okay. Well, this is why I need a goddamn tour of the place first. Okay. Fill an empty bag with cavity fluid. So that means I need to open this, use this, right? And now it's full. So now I can do shit. All right, there we go. Put that in there and then just shove it in. Okay, I think we got a good spot. Yeah, we got a good spot. Try to get in there. Yeah, let's get that out. Get all the rest. Really look in there. I'd really appreciate the sound. Thank you very much. Oh, a little tiny bit. Uh, there we there. go. Got it, okay. All right. Uh, all right. Um, mix cleaners in bathroom closet to create tank clean. Then pour into the remaining pump. All right, we just keep the cleaners in this bathroom available to the public. Cleaner base, gotcha. Okay. I can't hold anything else. Can't hold anything else? Uh. All right, did I not do it though? I did. Tank cleaner. That's not it. I 
I can't hold anything else. All right, I think I've done it. So it has tank cleaner now. We gotta clean the tank. But what tank? My mystery footsteps are suddenly gone. Um, mix cleaners in the bathroom. Then pour into the embalming pump. Okay. Get that going. Clean the tank. Uh, and then, I guess I'm just waiting. Apply moisturizer to facial features. Moisturizer. Is that this? Yep. Sure is. Let me get into that face right here. Okay. I'm just gonna moisturize the ear. The ear is really the most important part to moisturize. It seems like nothing is... There we go. I had to press a button to do it. If you just flop it around, that doesn't really do anything. You need pressure? Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Well, but I think the skin... Wait, this wasn't my first shift? Am I being paid for this? I think I acided her skin. Apply moisturizer. Go ahead. Facial. It's fine. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. But it's not... But my clipboard... I'm not... Okay, I'll leave. I really should wash my hands. There we go. Good! Alright. I think that was just a tutorial. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He's supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, he just said it to get me out of the building. Oh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You are doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badges and your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit! That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Oh, yeah. There are three bodies in that table. Uh, where okay. are my keys? All right. Um, let me uh, turn on options. And I like to have the subtitles on. Show. Okay. Gotta get my keys. Everything is so difficult with the controller. Okay. Uh, got my keys. Temporary items. Okay. 
Inventory management. Alright, let's have a look around my apartment. Light doesn't give up a whole lot of light, does it? Just having a look into the light of the <laughs> Music band shirt. Okay. Look at this sad little refrigerator. It is so sad. Ugh. Well, let's go. Lights on the studio, and I can I don't see very well. This kind of helps. Uh, close the door. It's raining. Okay. All right. We got steady employment and three jobs to take care of. <laughs> All right. Guess I'll head to the back and get started. Oh, must be Halloween. For Halloween, okay. <gasps> what? Okay, that noise is creepy. Uh, I repent. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just Someone's outside. Try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start. Sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. What are we talking about? You need to take about? this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You I'll can't leave. leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Hold on a second. Didn't I not just turn on subtitles? What happened? Most yeah. bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along and do your job. First thing is, I want to turn off. Ah! Okay, no, it was you guys. Okay, never mind. All right, I left things on the desk. What's this? All right, that turns that off. Nope, turn it right back on. Okay. Back, uh, this is my red box, my queen. Okay. Tape recorder. Nope, I think Jake is fixing up the uh, audio real quick, so we'll allow him to do that while I let him do that. In fact, uh, I might go pee real quick while Jake care takes care of that. So I'll be right back.
All right, sorry, we're back. Uh, I think. Do I have control again? I do. But nothing's happening. can't seem to get out of this and I have no cursor I'm assuming Jake maybe is still doing something Yeah, I, I don't have any, uh, con I can do that, but I don't have any other controls, and the mouse is showing up, so I'll just let Jake do that. Okay, I, I should have control now, Jake, but you're still doing stuff, so I'll just wait. Good? Okay. Let's pick up these keys again, I guess. This other one. Hall key. Okay. So I had some keys, and I had a tape recorder. And I think that's everything. I also have a old key. That's for. I fucking quit it tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe. way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. Demon. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. <laughs> this is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. But, Rebecca, he talked about demons, Rebecca. Three, the process of possession. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. Yes, the further you are from possession, it is, the more I'm time you have. Work. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Notepad on the front desk has scribbles to see how much time you have. Hmm. 
I don't have my clipboard. That's a mistake. That's the quick one. That's the scribble on the top. Okay. Alright, let's listen to more tapes, I guess. Oh, hey, here's my clipboard. Things. Huh? That was either amazing timing or the most dramatic clipboard I have ever, ever picked up. Future uh, players of this game, do not play it with the controller. <laughs> Tools of expulsion. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere I in already the have area. one of those. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture, anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. Whatever. Just the steps are grab a body and get started. Add the to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils, build the mark, and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, Burn it in the retort. Okay. Sigils. There's a lot going on. Night shift system. The night shift database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Okay, that was a lot of information. I've retained none of it, but I have this. I have that, okay. Um, I'm guessing that messing with the brightness fucked up the clipboard. Yeah, it totally did. It was like impossible to read, so I just won't deal with, or I'll have to just have it be really dark, I guess. Or I suppose I could also just kind of split the difference. Do that. 
Still pretty hard to read, but not impossible. Okay, um, there's a lot to do. There's sigils, and there's the bodies, and the demons, and you burn them, and okay. First things first, retrieve body from cold storage. cadaver we're going to do. This is uh, Josh Halvorsen, okay. All right, let's check you out. got an abrasion here. We can just quit. We don't need to be part of this. You Fuck this. Fine. Maybe. No. Maybe everything's fine. It's it's fine. I'm just seeing things. I just need to get back to work. It's, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're just, we're leaving. We're leaving, we're going to the Vatican and jumping in a pool of holy water. That's what we're doing. Yeah. And uh, close this and we're fucking, we're leaving, baby! Kidding me. I can't believe him. What am I doing? This is ridiculous. I shouldn't be out here. It's my fucking fault. Get back to work. Well, I guess if we're gonna be scared, we might as well. Do our job and make money. 
said don't trust the phones okay i don't trust the phone i don't trust the phone i'm looking for shit what's this i don't see anything I think that's everything. Yeah, Josh. Yes. I need to file the copy up front. Time to embalm. Embalm, okay. Okay, wire the jaw shut. I'm missing something. Where's my stuff? Injector barbs into the skull. And setting needles. What? What? I don't know what's what. Now we're safe. Ah, I can do this properly now. Yeah, this is way more effective than doing it to an ear. Wow, this there is how the game's really supposed to look. Wow. Cool. Insert eye caps. All right, where are the eye caps? Don't 
don't remember what the eye caps look like. That's the moisturizing pack. Not yet. Supposed to be looking around with this piece of paper, right? It'll spark and explode when there are sigils. Do I just walk around the whole place. Yep. Okay, I gotta look for a sigil. What the fuck is a sigil? It's like a glyph, right? Raymond, I know you said not to decorate for Halloween, but I need a little fun in your life. I didn't anyway. Okay, so that's not a sigil. Said a sigil could be like on furniture, on objects. It's just it's so dark I can't see. That wasn't there before. Okay. Well, there's a sigil. It's, uh... Do I do anything with it? So it's got like a ha ha and a ha ha. Okay, well, let's go look at the the cabinet and do the ha ha and ha ha. Um, I think it was this one. I don't. Does it matter what order you put it in, though? Can't seem to, uh, no, cancel. Okay. Well, 
we know that one's available. I'm not sure how to tell where the, uh, let's get more of this. I got that sigil. I wonder how many more there have been. I've taken a bit of time now. Listen to the tapes again. You should have fucking died. I will slip your ashes and your last vision as they wither will be of the flesh being peeled from the legs, and all that will be left is eternal pain and darkness. You will beg me to take your pathetic carcass. Oh, I guess if you're not seeing, if you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. Okay. I like to go out here. <laughs> All 
All right, where are the eye caps? I do not remember what they look like. I didn't see anything. Assuming that someone did that to me. I have no idea. Tubing. I can't find eye caps. Maybe here. Those are scalpels. Uh, forceps. Eye caps. Good. All right. Let's see what this is really supposed to look like. Um, which are all the things? to do. Mix some bobbing fluid. Gotta do that first. Methanol. Mixes all that stuff. The reagent in the old cabinet. Still can't read this very well. Uh, make an incision in the. Okay, so I need the scalpel. Hold on. What's going on? Okay, come on. There we go. And I need. Missing something. Make an incision. Jugular. Use. Oh, I can use the light. That's nice. Uh, forceps clamp tubing. Okay. 
forceps. Oh my god! Forceps, tubing, but the body drain. <laughs> Off the pump, remove the tubes, and close the incision. Fill an empty reservoir bag with cavity fluid. I'm missing something. Where is Kathy? Bleaching agent. Done it, and then I need one of these. And now I can go in. Wow, it's looting this boy. There we go. Mix cleaners in bathroom and closet to create tank cleaner. Then pour into embalming pump. Okay. <gasps> the 
What's happening? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Will you help me? Uh. Occupied. Okay. Uh, just get in here. I can't. Can't get in here. Because there's a lady. am I supposed to do? Oh, that's locked. Alright. Small photo, 1970, the back year arrival of the house. The year of the arrival of the house of death, the birth of its creator. The full number shall be six. What? Okay. All right. I've only found one sigil so far. Are there any more? That thing hasn't gone. Well, there's a sigil around. There we go. Uh, okay. It's a pie symbol. Pie symbol. This one. We're just gonna put them down there so I can remember. We should get another piece of the thing. I don't know, what does this triple paper do again? That could be one of the sigils, maybe? Like a circle thing? I don't know. Cleaners in this band. Okay, okay, right, yeah. Uh, here, here, here. Clean the tank. 
big cleaners in that composite. Cleaned up. There you go. Put the lips, the cheeks, the chin. All right. Return body to cold storage. Okay. Work on the next one. Okay, this is, uh, What is that? What? What? Okay, uh, Victor, wait your fucking turn, man. Wait your turn, Victor. Well, we still have a job to do, everybody. Did we... I, did, I think that we did this, right? Yeah, I think so. I think that's everything. Here, Riverfield's network how to to enter the Okay.
it says 506. Did I miss something? Did I miss some left leg, maybe? See, I thought I'd check this. That's the right leg. anything on this leg. When it says five of six, does that mean I'm does that mean I'm missing something? Maybe. It must be. I can't imagine what else it is. I got that. Anything else? Left shoulder? I mean, I got all this. Maybe I just didn't select enough on this side. Small mark on his chest? I don't know. Okay. They said there we go. We got it. A rash. I missed the rash. All right. Get the fluid. I already have one of those. Okay. Methanol. That's not it.
can see. Okay, uh, the G and the H. Okay. I can't hold anything else. <laughs> oh fuck, that got me. Woo, baby. Let's uh put this bin there. Oh goodness gracious, that fucking scared me. Mix. Oh yeah, and the reagent. The reagent, okay. Oh, oh that's funny. Forceps. Is that sick? I'm missing something. Did I not pick up the four steps? Yeah, okay, job. Oh my god, alright. Four steps, tubing. That turn off pump, remove tubes. Stitch that up. Uh, IV reservoir. Thing I'm always messing up. That's the cavity fluid. Where was the IV reservoir again? Up here. That's right. And then here. Okay. Cavity fluid insert into the, the yeah. Uh, I need one of these. Okay. Um. Uh, goodness gracious me. That's terrifying. Hey. Uh, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here, clown. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're getting up.
That was terrifying. Okay, well, uh, let's fucking, uh, let's open this guy's up, huh? <laughs> sucky, sucky. This wasn't in the job description. just had to use the bathroom, I guess. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Okay, uh, let's uh, fucking um, uh, let's look at our scribble in. Yeah, yeah, scribbling's good. Okay. Good job, you know? There we go. Uh, yeah, we have a mixer in the bathroom. Hey, yo, I'm running out of cleaner. Ha! Uh, it is a zip zap and a zoop and a doop. Zip zap and a zoop and a doop. Zip zap, zoop and a doop. Zip zap, zoop and a doop. Which one? Zip zap, zoop and a doop. That one. Okay. Moisturizer. I need moisturizer! Where's the moisturizer? Where? I know I had it earlier. Down here? No, that's the PVC. It's right here. Huh. 
All right. Okay, I know. I know, man. You really want to get out. the dead clown. No wonder the demon is here. Uh, we gotta pull him out. And then here. Alright, Mr. Clown. Let's assist. I need another one of those uh, paper. One. Yes. All right, let's see what happened with this clown. Got some stuff here. this. Okay. Arm. Seems okay. His underwear's funny. Leg seems okay. Stuff here. There. And there. I haven't gotten the all clear yet. Do the dead comfort you? Huh? Left arm, right arm. Right arm and right leg might still have something. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Let's go over here. Entry three. Victor is the name. Twenty years old, huh? Just a kid. The head. Right shoulder. Rash on the right leg. Left leg. Left arm. Left shoulder. And nothing on the right arm. Submit. Let's take this and file it away. Creepy. 
There we go. Okay. Then we need to do the eye caps. Uh, we will need those, but eye caps I think are on the bottom. Yes. In here, Rebecca. Huh? Rebecca, come down here. I have a key. Am I dead? But I'm alive, I can see. We gotta go, we gotta get, we gotta, where's the entrance? I think it's around, let's keep walking around. Okay, there's my car. So was that symbol, <laughs> maybe the, the fourth glyph? I need to look. What was that symbol? I mean, there's a glyph around? Ooh. Okay, yeah. Uh, yep, okay. It's like a swirling, like a swirly thingy. Uh, which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? We got here. It was... This one? Shit, now I gotta go back and look. Fuck. Fuck! Okay. Okay. Swirly with the thing on the left. This way. Alright, those are the four symbols that we need. Right? I'm gonna take a picture of this. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 
the four symbols. So, they said that we could go to the, uh, the night shift, right? Night shift, this system is only for river morticians with access rights. Please enter your night shift code. Night shift code. Uh, there's a personnel drawer that had an ID. Okay, there's a, that will probably work. Night shift database. Uh, collection of all my findings related to banishment, blah, 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 path to banishment, and Bob each body with special region in the cabinet used, lighting strips, reveal that. Compare the found anomic sigils to the demon's names within the night shift database. Build the mark to match. Pay attention to each body for the demonic activity. I think I know which one. Note that bringing an ordinary bomb body back out to reinspect or changes may be necessary. Place the mark. Okay. Uh, sigil of names. Each of the demons belong to one of the three houses. Okay, so I, I definitely saw that. Alright, um, I can look at each one. So, which one had all of them? A neck. A neck had all of them. Right? It looks like. So, I need to place them in that order. Rebecca, it's you. It's your grandma. Huh? I need you to let me know. Graham? 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 Don't you love your grandma? I, yes. I do like Graham Graham. What do I gotta do? It's so cold out of here. I'd love to come in. Let me in. Hey! Gam Gam! Gam Gam's been drinking and taking her pills again. This is a very scary game. Alright. So. We need. This here. How do I. doing it, but I can do it. Okay, I got the mark. Do I still need to fully embalm? to fully embalm, right? So we were doing eye caps. All 
right. And then we need to mix all the fluids together. I can't hold anything else. Oh, I have the mark. Do I put the mark here on the body? I guess I just put the mark down for now. Picking up fluids. This one. This one. This one. Decision. There. And now I need forceps. Come on. Ah! There. And here. that going. Let's Vision. Uh, and then the emptiness, yep, and then we can go here, start getting some stuff. We got that. Now we got a, uh, the mixture in the bathroom. I don't think we have any more. Right? Didn't we not have any more in the bathroom? Yeah, we're out. Um. 
read about that somewhere. Uh, where did I read about that? Key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is so low, and you mentioned having some down there. So I need to. Is there more in the bathroom? Oh, wait. Already died, please. Here, okay. There, got the cleaner base. Moisturizer. Oh, it doesn't clean off the makeup. It should. All right. And then. Uh, this body. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Uh, alright. We're running out of time, I guess. Uh, I need to put the glyph on this body, right? Take Mark. Can I put that on him? I guess I don't know how. Do I not take it? I thought I did something with it. But I guess not. I don't remember the, the rules, but we're gonna take this. Uh, give me control. There we go. And then we bring it in here. We need to burn it, right? How do I open this? So I do I do put the mark on it? This one, right? I mean, it's the one that he's been using over and over again. So what? What do I do next? So I, I can't. If I can't put it on here, it must not be that one. Is that the idea? A lot of very conflicting information in the chat right now. I don't even know how to open this thing. Like it feels like...
They said, like, re-examine the body or something? I feel like it's a do with the glyph like just put that there that's all I do and then we burn this fucker I'm burning this clown He's used the clown too much. Sorry, but it doesn't end here. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again, no matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. What do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. What? I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. It's the only thing we can Fucking do. Fucking Mad Nicholson, man. So what? You're waging some selfless holy war? It's not a war. It's survival. And I'd hardly call it selfless. We're caught at the front line of something larger. But I don't do this for some greater good. We either face it or fall to it. I wish I could claim to be someone better. Suffering hell to save us all. But I simply want to live another day. Just like everyone else. Mm -hmm. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run and spend the rest of my days in fear, or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Normal. Right. It's not a life I would want for anyone, but choosing between a life of fear or control you're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. So what? So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. Learn what I know. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. I better get through it. Paid, You'll what become I'm unbreakable. Lots of money. I'm offering the tools to take control. The choice is yours. You need to offer some money. I hope you come back. If I'm gonna be doing this every night, I'm going home to a mansion. A mansion! Shift complete. Ending one of five. Okay. I didn't get possessed. I banished one demon. Okay. All right. Dread XP. Ooh, positively spooky. That was fun. Okay. Uh, other than the, the w little wonkiness of the controller, I'll certainly learn my lesson about what thing I pick to do next. What are you about to experience based on real 
paranormal events. Research of the occult has shown that heightened moments of emotion, such as fear. This is real, everybody. Uh, if you're playing the game, you experience unknown happenings around your house or have sudden changes in your behavior of yourself. Oh, this is fun. Reach out immediately to your local church and paranormal investigators. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's really going to fuck with a couple people that have different beliefs than me. All right, that was cool. <laughs> it's really trying to fuck with you, isn't it? When they say it's true, they can't lie. All right, so I got a I got a good ending by luck. What was my luck? Just guessing things, I guess. <sighs> All right, that was a lot of fun. I, I especially loved the grandma part. That was really funny. <laughs> there wasn't much, uh, I mean, I don't know. I guess chat kind of made myself doubt, but I, I definitely thought, all right, this one's a clown. It's got to be it. There just happens to be a dead clown here, and it doesn't have anything to do with a demon. Come on. Come on. 100% guess on the body. What are you talking about? The body got up and was moving around. I'm pretty sure the demon is going to be like, all right, that dude, that dude, or a clown. Which one do I pick? Demons aren't fucking smart. They're, they're cliche. They pick clowns every time. <laughs> it's a certain sign. <laughs> I know, the game code and all that, but come on. If you had three bodies there, one of them a dead clown, guess which one, if I'm a demon, I'm picking. You know, come on. What, we crazy here? Yeah, I mean, if this if this happens in this world, let's just, we just need to create a new movement of cremating everybody, you know? Just do that. All right, well, that was, uh, that was a fun game. I greatly enjoyed it. I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, me playing. There were, I think, two moments of genuine shock and, 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 uh, and, and jump scare, I think, so. Yeah, no, the first guy did sit up, but the clown did the most stuff, so. All right, well, uh, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Um, yeah, there's, uh, there's gonna be some fun stuff coming out very soon when it comes to Blind Wave, and not the least of that is more Scream Stream. We're gonna be picking back up, I think, on Monday, so stick around for that. You guys have a fantastic night, and if, you know, you're at home alone, it's dark, you might hear something, something goes around your shoulder, there's a chill in the air, Gam Gam in the window. Well, there's only one way you can save yourself. That's opening up your YouTube app, and making sure you're subscribed to Blind Wave on YouTube. And if you're not, it's going to be a rough night. All right? We'll see you guys later. Have a spooky night!